last module our focus was intonation and its meaning. Now we will ultimately come to relationship between intonation and gender. Intonation you know plays important part in communication. It is conventionally linked with our emotions and perceptions. The attachment of intonation to convey our uh, hatred, our love, our interest which we have discussed in the previous module, this attachment is not direct. It is conventional. It is not that a particular intonation pattern inherently are essentially related with that emotion. There is one to one link between emotion and intonation pattern. That is not the case at all. It is convention. By convention we say if a statement is uttered uh, with rising tone at the end, it would be regarded as a question and so on. Even it can convey social information. Now this is the next point that uh, our previous talk leads us to. The point is that it is not only emotional and attitudinal meanings which are conveyed by intonation. Intonation also conveys our social background information about our social background. We know from intonation the origin of the speaker. People often say, your intonation tells us that you belong to Faisalabad, you belong to Lahore. He, she, for example, from intonation, you can even know that the person who is talking to you is sleeping or uh, getting up from the bed. He, she just woke up. You can know that. From intonation, you can know a person is lecturing to a class or talking to a friend. The intonation would be different according to the situation, according to the social context. How much interest the speaker takes in the current talk? It is apparent from the intonation. Every time if a person is talking in neutral tone or falling tone, so it shows that this person has no interest in the current talk, in the current topic. We have seen basic pitch patterns in the previous module. Men and women differ when they make variations in the basic pitch patterns. The basic pitch patterns, they are same with men and gender. We said that language system provides a range of choices to both men and women. Okay. Now, where difference is created, the variations we make within the basic patterns. How does it happen? For example, English questions take higher pitch to the end of utterance. We have repeated it so many times. You are familiar with this point. Okay, this is a basic pattern. Now, men and women vary in frequency of rising. The frequency of rising tone is not the same between men and women. It is here that gender difference is created. It is here that intonation is linked with gender. So women use higher frequency than the men. Then men and women can differ in choice of pitch pattern. There is choice, a range of pitch patterns are available. For the same purpose, in the same social context, men can choose one pattern, women can choose the other pattern. So this is also something gendered. It is here that intonation is linked with gender. In answering to a phone call, for example, women tend to select 
rising tone where is men tend to select falling tone quite opposite to each other see this pattern of tones when a woman answers to a phone call she says hello and when a man attends the same call hello so falling tone or neutral tone the gender differences in intonation choices are because of two factors at least we have noted two differences difference in frequency pattern is the same and difference in page patterns social context is the same so these differences are created because of two factors number 1 physiological factors difference in anatomy of voice boxes of males and females this is part of our physiology so it is created because of this second factor is socio cultural we have stereotypical or typical conventional features attached with male speech and female speech so if you remember a robin lack of stock in the beginning modules when we discuss women language so there we have discussed certain features which are particularly found in women's language okay so uh, these are being called here stereotype the features the attributes which are conventionally culturally attached with their speech so two factors create these differences in intonation choices one is physiological and the second is socio cultural or stereotypical so we conclude that choice of intonation it shows that the choice of intonation patterns among men and women differ so it is something gendered and this gendering is result of two factors physiological and cultural